Hey Courtney here from One and Three coming to you from another sold out porch sessions. Today we've got Timberwolf, Ollie English and Cookie Baker playing. We're going to have a quick chat to them all and then catch up with Shani, the organiser. And I still can see the forest for the trees I took you home. Okay, we've got Ollie English here who's playing at the porch sessions. We had been dreaming of and now I have to so you started the year off with, was it the Orchard Festival? Yeah, it was the uh, Orchard Cider Festival in yep. Light Square. Yep. Awesome. How was that? It was pretty amazing. Yeah. And do you have much else lined up for the rest of the year? Yeah, I've got an EP coming out. Yay. So yeah. maybe a month or two down the track. Yeah. And um, just some more gigs around town and yep. just sort of finding my way in, I guess, yeah. So you're very bluesy. Where do you get your influences from? You know, I was originally inspired by Delta Blues. That was sort of my thing. And um, I sort of, I was a guitar player before, a singer, songwriter, so I sort of looked up to those guys a lot. So how long have you been playing guitar and then singing for? Probably been playing guitar for like 10 years. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, but uh, I started writing songs about like a year or so ago. So, yeah, I really, I really love it, so, yeah. Special place, but don't worry about me. Okay, we have Miss Cookie Baker here with us. How are we going? I'm good. Yeah. Thank you, Courtney. Ready yes. for action? Yes, yep. very much. Very much. Now, you are based in Melbourne, but you're originally yeah, I am. from South Australia. I am, yes. I'm a country girl. Oh, originally. really? Yeah, Where so, from? Uh, York Peninsula. Beautiful. Yeah, so from York Peninsula, but I, I lived in Adelaide. I, I went to boarding school in Adelaide and lived here for quite a few years. Okay. So I've always loved Adelaide because I think because it is a smaller city with fewer people you have to get out there and create your own opportunities anyone in particular of Adelaide artists that you're really loving Timberwolf actually who I'm playing with today um, I think is fantastic um, and funnily enough Ollie who, who's playing today as well Ollie English um, yeah. I had heard his name, but I hadn't heard his stuff until we were both booked, until the three of us were booked for this gig, and so I went in and, and sort of researched him a bit more and had a look to see um, what he was doing and, and everything as well. And, um, and yeah, and he, like, I think he's excellent, and he's got, um, he's got loads to come in front of him. You can just see it. hands are black, but I'm ready and waiting for you, ready and waiting for you. of the hour today here at the porch sessions, Mr. Timberwolf. Chris, how are you going? Good, how are you? Good. <laughs> you were at Laneway just a couple of days ago. You jumped up on stage with Jesse Davidson. How was that? That was really fun. It was, um, I, I'm such a fan of Jesse's. Yeah. I really respect him as a songwriter and as a guy. He's a really lovely guy. So it was nice to play guitar for him and, and sort of not be uh, like, you know, conducting the show for once. So are you guys planning any collaborations? Going to do any recordings together or anything? Um, Jesse actually helped me write one of the songs that's on my upcoming EP. Oh, cool. That Which we're playing Are we tonight. allowed to know what it's called? It's, uh, the EP is called Flux and this particular song is called Stranded. Yeah. Um, it's my favourite one of the CD. So you're signed with 123 now as well, which like we're seeing you pick up a lot more kind of festival shows yep. and stuff. How's all that going? That's been really, really positive, hey. That's, yeah. um, I'm so grateful for Harry and the team at 123 for what they do. And, you know, instantly through just having a really knowledgeable, hardworking point of contact, it's been really great to, to pick up on festivals I probably wouldn't have got otherwise. And, you know, with Worm Adelaide and oh, cool. all that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah that's coming up soon. Mm. Exciting. That's pretty exciting, yeah, in about three or four weeks maybe now. You haven't played Womad before, have no, you? No, I've only been as a punter. So yeah, it's been... but you love it? Yeah, oh, it's such a beautiful festival. I think that and Laneway are probably my two favourite Adelaide festivals. 
and there were battles to be won. You played the very first Porch yeah. Sessions opening it up and it was all a bit exciting and it's taken over like wow, mm. the... Does it feel good kind of coming back to it and being the headlining act now? Yeah, it is kind of cool. Yeah. It is cool. It's, um, it's sometimes I feel like you can lose time and you just sort of think, you know, what happened in that last year or that last six months. And so to see something like, you know, the last time I played this was opening and now we're headlining. It's a, it's a really nice feeling to yeah. sort of have that kind of confirmed progression, I guess, you Definitely. know, as to what's been going on. Okay, we thought we better quickly get the master behind the porch sessions out for a quick chat. This is Shani on it, everybody. Greetings! <laughs> Shani, porch sessions. <laughs> it's turned into just like this huge, massively successful thing. Tell me about it. The, the, the thing? The thing. The Where thing did it start general? from? I actually started across the road. Crazy shit. Um, on my very own porch, which is a good time. Um, and these guys that live here heard us playing music on our porch, a couple of guitars, a couple of harmonicas, and picked up their bench from their front porch, dragged it across the road on the footpath, and then listened. That's cute. Um, so what's the plan? Because you usually just do it through summer. Is there mm. going to be any winter versions of it? Well, that is a very good question. One and three exclusive. <laughs> Go. <laughs> there are some plans. Um, yeah, marinating at the moment. A potential winter series is something that we're looking at. And yep. then a kind of video series as well is something awesome. we're looking at. Yeah, so more to be revealed. Camera look for that as well. Keep your eyes Bang. peeled. <laughs> <laughs> Folks. If you could have maybe any three acts on your porch, who would they be? Anyone in the world. Oh, wow. They have to be alive though. Shit. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So this is a tough one. Ooh, I haven't even prepared for this, but I would go Nick Mulvey would be <laughs> that's a blank face. Uh, Gillian Welsh. No, probably uh, this is the guy I'm getting into lately called JD McPherson. I would say Mac DeMarco. The man. He's one. Benny Howard. You'd know Ben Howard. Yeah, I know. There we go. Great. That's <laughs> yes. that's one from two. I'd have Kevin Parker. Paolo Nintini. Secondly, Tom Waits. Maybe JP Cooper. Yep. Mm. Mm. Yep. Why Damn did I say it. that person? That person. That's <laughs> like I, I want to say Mazzy Stark. Probably get John Mayer down. Yeah. Just to kind of... Stare into his yeah. eyes. Jordan Ireland, who is the main uh, singer-songwriter from the Middle East. I'd have him come play. That would be such he's, an amazing yeah, show. He's pretty incredible. Yeah, it would be a good show. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get back to you on the third. Okay. Or the fourth. The third in brackets. Well, guys. Well. Shani, oh, thanks for talking me. to oh, us. <laughs> it's been a blast. Oh, we'll do this if again If you sometime. want to come to a porch session. Do it. You should, if you're quick enough to buy tickets. Check it out all on the Facebook page. It's all there. It's all there. It's happening. Bang. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Roll up, string now, roll up, swing now, find yourself thinking about me.